everybody, it's John D. from John D. TV. We're on day 80 of our house follow, and we've had the plumbing finish wrapped up. So we have all the faucets installed, the toilets are installed, drains are connected, the finished part of the drain that you can see from the top. Um, things has been checked for leaks. They run water through the entire system um, to make sure that everything works. So part of that system is the water softener and neutralizer. Now, I'm down here, this isn't the most exciting looking part of your plumbing system, but it's one of the most important parts. And I thought it would be good to just give you a quick review and understanding of how it works. So this home has a well, as you can see by this well tank. So whenever we have water that's not coming from a public water system, which is treated and you know everything is done at the processing plant, so when it gets to you, you can just use that water. We have to test the water. In this neighborhood, it's well known for the water to have a lot of iron in it, to be highly acid, and so we have to put a neutralizing system in. How a neutralizer works is, it's this big container here. It actually has minerals in it. Most of them are calcium. Sometimes they have magnesium. I believe that our guy uses calcium, but it doesn't really matter. And the calcium has a higher pH level than above seven, which is like middle pH, which would be like normal water. So you take this acidic water that might be a four or five and you run it through this calcium, which has a pH of nine to 10, and that balances the water out to bring it closer to a seven, which is neutral. So the water comes out of this. This is your well line here. Here's your pressure tank that helps keep constant pressure in the pipes, comes up through and it goes into here, runs through and that helps get the pH to a normal level. You want to, you don't want to have high acid because that could eat away at fixtures and pipes and things like that. Okay. So that's why it's really important to have this. So the water runs through here. It goes through the calcium, which helps adjust the pH. And then it goes into your water softener. So when you have a neutralizer, you typically almost always need a water softener because now that you have that calcium in there, calcium are those hard deposits that you get when you have hard water in your home. So it's kind of funny, you need a neutralizer to protect your pipes, and then you need a softener to battle that calcium buildup that can form from hard water. So how a softener works is, that water that comes out of the neutralizer now goes down into the resin beads of this softener. And these softener, the resin beads have a negative charge to them. So they're like a plastic bead that they put a charge to them by running this salt water over them. It makes them, it gives them a negative charge and the calcium is positive charge. So the calcium sticks to all the beads in there and then the water runs through without any calcium in it, which in the end softens your water. So one of the maintenance things that you have to pay attention to are the levels of not just your salt, but also your neutralizer minerals. You can check your neutralizer minerals by putting a really powerful flashlight behind it and the light will shine right through and you can see your levels. Once it gets down below half, you want to call your well installer um, or your system installer and they can come and put more minerals back in there. And then with your softener, you can do this yourself at home. Here's a big tank that you want to put your solar salt into. Okay, so this salt, again, this water, this salt water is made to just keep this, the resin beads in here cleaned off and everything so that they can constantly pick up calcium. So whenever you add salt in there, you want to put a little bit of, they have like a resin cleaning fluid that really helps, especially with water that has high iron, which is in this area as well, where the water can be red. So that helps to keep those beads cleaned off. So this whole little system here in the end helps you to have great soft water that cleans dishes. You don't get calcium buildup. So it's really great to have. Um, even if you have public water, it's worth checking to see if you need a softener. Um, one other point that should be noted is if you're going to water your grass, if you have a new home, you have to water a lot of grass. I would highly recommend just connecting right to this faucet here before your system, because if you're going to run that extreme amount of water, it takes a lot of water to water a lawn through your system. You're just depleting all of your minerals and your salt unnecessarily. You don't need to have softened water outside. So you might want to take that to point. So I hope you learned something today. Um, again, I know this isn't the prettiest part of the uh, plumbing finish, but I wanted to make sure to explain all the steps that were necessary. Thanks for tuning in today, and I hope you have a great day.